Hi, I'm Tim McCallum with OTC Die Hen, and I'm going to walk you through the procedure of installing an aluminum kit into our standard CM743U wire feeder. So your wire feeder is going to come standard already with the steel kit installed, um, but we actually are going to need the two bottom drive gears from the steel kit to apply that with our aluminum kit to, uh, to make it complete. So um, first thing, let's go through the aluminum kit. Your aluminum kit's going to come with four of these shiny drive rolls, two of these drive gears, along with the attachment screws, uh, and you're also going to receive your uh, center guide and your outlet guide. Now, these two pieces here from the aluminum kit are made of a hard durometer plastic, which is going to help you differentiate the difference between the aluminum kit and the steel kit. The steel center guide and outlet guides are actually made of steel. So your aluminum kit also is going to come with a wire straightener, as you can see, uh, I've already installed it for the sake of time, but the unit does come standard with this steel inlet guide. So this actually gets replaced with the wire straightener. So let's go ahead and start removing our uh, steel kit from the wire feeder. I'm going to release my tension levers, I'm going to take out my two retaining screws for the top rollers. These top rollers, these are not drive rolls as much as they are guides, <clears throat> pressure guides. As you can see, they're actually flat on this surface here. Set this aside. You're going to want to separate and keep your, your steel kit separate. Uh, maybe put it in a plastic bag or the same shipping uh, packaging that the aluminum kit came in because when you want to go back to wire or to steel wire welding, uh, you're going to want your steel kit readily available. So I got my two rollers off the top. I'm gonna to take my bottom retaining shield off. I'm gonna take my center guide out. <clears throat> and then the outlet guide is actually held in place. There's a groove in the outlet guide. There's a, there's a lever inside the wire feeder that actually holds it in place so it doesn't travel. I'm gonna do my lever out. Push my, my outlet guide out. There it is. So now, now that we've got the, uh, the center guide and the outlet guide out, I can take my lower drive wheels out. There we go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. And I'm gonna undo these screws. And I'm gonna separate the steel drive roll from the drive gear, okay? So now that I've got that done, I've attached all of my aluminum drive rollers to my drive gears. I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling and installing my, uh, my aluminum kit. Now you're gonna wanna push these in there until they actually do seed with the drive gear that's in the very uh, bottom of the wire feeder. Get that second one in there, there we go. So we're good there. Um, we'll go ahead and install the two top ones. Put that in there, Put my retaining Retainer screw in, second one in, and my retaining screw. Now, once the drive rolls are installed, you can now put your center guide and outlet guide in. There you go. Remember, you've got this groove on the outlet guide, so you're going to want to feed that in last. So this first part here goes in first. Right? The tapered end. Feed that through. You don't want to use your fingers to get it to kind of feed up towards the uh, the groove. There we are. Let's bring our lever down. Okay. So we're in good shape now. So now I've got my drive rolls in. I've got my center guide in. I've got my outlet guide in. And like I said, our wire feeder is already installed. Or our, our wire straightener. Now I'm going to go ahead and clamp this down. I'm going to put my Lower retaining shield on. And we're all set. If you ever have any questions or if you need any additional parts, uh, please feel free to contact your local regional sales manager or uh, your local uh, authorized welding partner uh, with OTC, OTC Diane or Call 937-667-0800, ask for customer service, tech support, and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching. See you soon.